Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today we've got a total body strength cardio workout. The weight selection that I'm going to be using today is 12, 15 and 20 pound dumbbells. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. And if you're looking for more content, maybe you want to help me create the content, make sure you click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back, brace that core, give yourself a little space here to move. Take a big inhale, reach it up. You're gonna squat, take your time, then reach up right. Reach right, squat down, big reach left. Four more. Press through your heels when you rise up in that squat and a big side reach. One more time and then a lateral lunge to your right. We stay there for two. In and over. So a little push into the heel and then you rise it up. Option, one row and then one sweep. Keep it going. Down row, sweep it up. One more time, and then you're gonna stop in the middle and we're gonna stretch out your back, hands on the thighs, flat back, come down, round it up. Do it again, flat back, roll up. Roll it up, now hold. You're gonna lunge back this leg, lunge and reach the knee. In and switch. Lunge knee, back and in. Keep the lunges, big arms. Two more. This is how we do, right on. Alternate knees up, left, right. Now, you can stay in this march, right? We might just take it up to a little jog and just a little bit here. How about four more? March or jog. Jacks or taps. Back to your march or jog. Jack or tap. Do it again. you guys we are gonna get ready for that squat with a curl so you're gonna do heavy I got 20 pounds here we're gonna drop first then stand up to the curl so drop and then bicep curl now go at a pace that works for you so if it's a little lighter you can always go faster in your bicep curl bring that fist towards your shoulder and squeeze in your squat, press through the heels when you rise up, so you use that back side. Clean and press. I'm gonna use 15. You're gonna roll it up that chest, and then press to the sky. Roll the shoulders back. Zip it up, get under, push. And again, moderate, I'm at 15 pounds. When I pull it up, I keep it tight to my body. Wrist stays straight.
Make sure you flip it, get underneath it. Use the little legs, a little core. Skull crushers, I'm gonna keep my 15s on your back with a leg drop. Weight is up, bending at the elbows. And as you drop, one leg goes down and then the other. Push your back in towards the mat. Your arms are gonna go to about a 90 degree angle, bending at the elbows. And again, you have the option if you wanna take both legs down, you can. I'm good with one. Next lift will be deadlift to a row. I'm gonna go to 20. So I'm gonna use 20 for that deadlift row. Back stays flat. And you can always change your hand grip. Hinge forward, row it up, and then press those hips to me. You don't necessarily have to stand all the way up. You can have a little hinge to keep the hamstrings more activated. And the wider you go with the elbows, right, you're gonna feel more in the back. Pinch between those shoulder blades. And maybe we'd be better off being just friends. Oh, yeah. It's getting kind of obvious what you want from All right, you've got 30 seconds right here. Get a quick sip of water and then come back. So remember, it's quick, you guys, really quick. So if you just want to have my body, you better go find somebody else. First move, squat curl. Grab your heavy weights. Open your feet up. Roll the shoulders back, get ready. When you squat, eyes stay lifted. Push into those heels. Control the down movement in your bicep curl. All right, we got that. Woo. Shake it out. Clean and press. All right, zip it up. Get underneath it. Compound workouts are great for multi-muscle involvement and getting a little bit more done with your time to keep the heart rate elevated. All right, we're gonna go into that skull crusher. I'm gonna keep my 15s. Ooh. Everybody's doing good? All right, legs up, arms up. Bend and drop here. This is a good one to close your eyes. Think about your core. And then just make sure you're, you're testing the water. You're trying a little bit on that heavier side if you can. Or double up your weights.
deadlift rows coming up. Ooh, nice job. All right, you can change your grip. You can do, I'm gonna do palms up in my row. So when I come down, I'm gonna rotate my palm. Deadlift, row. So my thumbs are gonna turn out. I'm gonna really pinch between my shoulder blades. Push into your heels to rise up in that deadlift. This is those hamstrings. Your core has to support your body. Woo. Nice job. All right, here's that 30 second break. Quick sip of water, always stay hydrated, especially when the weather starts to change and it's not as hot outside. Going back to that squat. Hey, hey, last round, you guys. Get those weights ready in five. Set your feet, roll your shoulders. Remember, this is not a rhythmic workout. This is really finding a rhythm in you that makes you work hard. a weight that makes sure that's going to challenge you. Push into your heels. Eyes are up. Legs and biceps here. Clean it and press it. Woo. Yeah. Shake it out. Set your base, roll the shoulders. Lots of shoulder here. Working on those deltoids, little trapezius. Remember that song we used to sing in the rain. Can you make sure you push it all the way up to the sky? Even if you pause for a moment. You can engage your core at the top. Somehow we lost it all when we left that room. Maybe we should skull crushers. Alright, you guys, two moves. And then we're back into those tabatas. Legs are up. Ready? Drop. Test the water, maybe you do a double leg drop, right? Inhale, you lower. Exhale, you press it back up. Ooh, I'm working hard. How about you? Oh, nice job. All right, deadlift. Row. Ooh. I'm going to have my hands face each other on this one here, this last round. You can do what you want. Deadlift. Row. Push your hips back, flat back when you drop. Ooh, that sweat is coming. One more. Yes. Woo. All right, you guys, you got a breather here. Send me the 
you guys we're getting ready for that block number two what's the move that we've got do you see it we got a sumo squat with upright rows i'm gonna use 15 you have your feet turned out my weight down in front squat upright row push into your heels to rise up fight the pull downward wrist stay straight Dropping butt to about knee height. Keep your shoulders over your hips. I'm gonna inhale, exhale. Shoulders, legs here. I'm gonna go for 20. Sumo pulse with a heel up, weight up. Wait up. We're gonna lift that right heel up and pulse. Heavy weight. It could be one dumbbell, it could be two. Woo, right? Switch. Can you get low? I don't know. Fighting it. How about you? Ooh. All right, I'm going to go for my 12s. Shoulder press to two overhead extensions. Weight is up in front. Dumbbells touch, press it up, two overheads. Whoa, right? Bring it down. Two overhead. You can squat, push. Bend your knees just that little bit here. Keep this, keep the overhead. Nice job. All right, lunge back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do what do you want? Okay, I'll do 15. Lunge back. We're gonna step your left leg back. Do a pulse in the back. So lunge, push, come forward, curl. Switch. Lunge. Push, curl, like a leg press. So I come here, push away, then come forward. Looks like this, lunge, push. Okay, 30 seconds, you guys. Take your break here. I need to go wipe the sweat off my eyes. Woo! You're doing okay though at home? Feeling those effects? 15 seconds. Sumo upright row. I'm going 15. Grab what you can, come on. Let's go. Drop. Shoulders back and legs. If it's light, you can go faster. Go at your pace. Push your heels. Knees track your toes. Chest over your hips. Sumo 
impulse. Ooh, 20 is what I got. Sumo position. Weigh this up. Open your legs. Let's start with your left foot. Left heel is up. This forces your quad to work a little bit differently. If you cramp, just drop the heel. Switch. This would be an option too. Keep it going. Oh, that's all I could do. Woo! All right, you guys. Let's just stay with overhead extension, okay? My shoulders are feeling a little zipped. You could add the press if you want to. Bend your knees. Eyes are up. Wide, narrow elbows. Right? How you doing though? Come on, out. Zip it up. Woo. Oh. Hey, can you just hold it at the bottom part for a moment? Hold it there. Lock in your elbows. Bring them back. Hold it. Oh my gosh. All right, lunge it. Woo. You want the 12s? Lunge. Lunge, push away, then step in, curl. Let's step this leg back. Lunge, push, curl. You could do wide. Who's trouble over here? No trouble at all. Everyone says that I should get going so Woo! All right, end of round two. You're doing great. I need a quick sip of water. Woo! Four minutes to go in this round. Upright row, 15, I got, what you got? Let's go, ladies. Drop. I know who's trouble. <laughs> I love you, though. No, you're not trouble. Now, make sure your elbows come up high and your wrist stays straight. I got them, right? Woo! Right here, straight up. Yes, it's a good trouble. <laughs> I was trouble when I was young, look out. <laughs> Sumo. <laughs> I was not a good girl. <laughs> Sumo, right heels up. Drop that butt to that knee height, come on. Switch. You know who's not trouble? Carol. We're gonna get her in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Cheeky? I don't know, I think Cheeky's got a little trouble in her too though, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys, let's get into that overhead extension. 12 is what I got. 
And Liza's quiet. She might be trouble too. Woo! The quiet people. I was always quiet. I was the quiet girl in the back, taking it all in. Every time I close my eyes. Trouble is okay though, right? You learn your mistakes and you grow from them. Lunges. Woo! Monkeys. I'm gonna go for the 20s last round here. Lunge. Push. Let's step back this leg first. Lunge, push. Step and curl. Sometimes when you go heavier, you're gonna find more parts of your body work. We did not mean to go to the beat of the music. Sometimes it happens. That's when you love group fitness, right? Every time I close my Woo! All right. That block is over. So deep breath here. Let it go. Woo! You've got a few moments here. All right, we're going to be doing that first movement here. Chest press, sit up. So you're going to kick the leg as you push the weight up. Kick and press. You can come all the way up or just to where you feel that you can. In my chest press, I'm gonna take that hands out wide and then press them inward towards one another. Weight goes to the back, one for twist. So I'm gonna hold on to just one of my weights, lean back, twist it to the front and the back, shoulders relaxed. A lock in your elbows, use your waist, front to back. And the further you go away, sometimes that can make it harder. Eyes look out in front. Every time I close my eyes. No weight on this one. Drop your weight off. You're gonna do a hip lift. And then when you drop the legs, you're gonna open and close the arms and legs. And then hands go down, hips go up. Hip lift, drop the legs, reach back, star. Your star. Arms and legs, they look like you're making a snow angel. Hip lifts, roll the knees into the chest and then pop the hips up on your stomach. You can do this on all four, we're gonna be all the way on the stomach. Opposite arm and leg reach. 
We're gonna hold it for three, two, one, and then switch. Lift up here. Three, two, one, and switch. And switch. Switch. And then you're gonna go at your own pace. As you're reaching, lengthen out and lift up. Child pose, or you can do up dog. Getting ready for round two. Chest press. You still got 15 seconds here. Get in position here with that kick. Ooh. Long legs. Doubles out, knuckles up, wrist is straight. Press and kick. A big exhale to get you up. Do your muscles do a little shake yet? Twist one weight, rock yourself up. Woo. Yeah. So, this workout combined a lot of what you guys wanted. I heard what you said. Twist it to the front and the back. It is fun to do a little bit of that cardio and strength combinations. So you get everything done at one time, right? Pop open your chest a little bit here. Don't sink too much. Kind of think about pulling in and up. Hip lift to star. Woo. Arms by your side, legs start up. Hip lift, drop legs, snow angels. This is the stuff that just keeps that core really strong, especially even this for your low back. Arms reach, toes reach. Lift up, hold. Three, two, one, and switch. More length. for your posture. If you're sitting a lot at home or you're working from home. Ooh, push back. All right, you guys, we're finishing this off. Ooh, yeah. You surviving this? Ooh, I'm gonna do a little up dog here on my spine. All 
right, you guys, we're gonna flip it. Last round here. We got that chest press. Get ready, guys. Come on, hustle, hustle for that muscle. Here it comes. Ready. Woo. Are you running out of gas? Things that affect that energy. Sleep the night before. Stress and what you ate and even fueling your body in the morning before you work out. Woo, that was all I could do. Oh my gosh, right? We're gonna finish that twist. Got a good beat here. This should be a good trampoline song. Front, back. I like this rhythm. Now my thoughts just drifted into trampoline workout. I hear music and sometimes I just think about choreography, like envisioning it. I do love music. I feel like it always can really level up your workouts. Hip lifts here. Start with your legs up. Back pressing into the mat. Hold it for seven. Switch. Back to threes. Push back. Yeah, you finished it. Nice job. Give an applause to you, yay you. Yay my drive <laughs> driveway crew, yay for you guys. I'm gonna do a little up dog. Yeah, relax there. Mm. Didn't that feel good though? This always feels good when it's the end. And you get that glow. Let's take one foot forward. I'm gonna step my front leg forward into lunge. I'm gonna reach that arm up, reach it back, push the hips forward, little back extension. Hand goes down, I'm gonna pull back into pyramid. So I'm gonna pull my back foot in and go into pyramid. I like this stretch, it's so good for the hamstring and the hips. and lunge, drop the hips, and then open up. Hand goes down. 
All we're gonna do is gonna turn and do a little twist here, all right? So come into a little pretzel. Oh. And then you can drop your chest forward. How are those hips? Ooh. All right, on, twist it. Ooh, step back into plank. Give me a down dog. Step the back foot forward. And then I'm gonna turn to the front and straddle stretch. Turn towards the garage or in lunge. Did we already do this leg? I don't remember. We did, so we need to turn the other way. <laughs> See, that happens. Is that what your body is saying right now after that workout? <gasps> la la. All right, let's pull it in for that pyramid stretch. Ooh, right? Back into your lunge and twist. Hold that lunge twist, reaching to the back. And then we are gonna stay facing to the back, right? We're gonna kind of pull that back foot in a little bit, twist into a little bit of a ooh, little pretzel there. You can grab the feet or push from behind, or you can grab the knees, lean a little forward. All right, Diane, you've got the most flexibility in your hips. not about comparing, right? Honor your body. All right, on twist, back into that lunge, step back into plank, give me a down dog. Widen that base of yours, and then walk back so that you feel the heels touch the ground. Walk to those feet. Roll it up. Yeah. Tricep stretch. Push your head into your arm. Other arm, tricep. And release. Roll the shoulders back. Big inhale, reach it up. Hold at the top, reach it back. Pull it down into your heart. Touch that skin, big inhale. And let it go. You did amazing, awesome job. You made it to the end. Yay for you, yay for this crew. Thank you guys, thank you Jen, Diane. Thank you Cheeky, troublemaker Liza. No troublemaker, Carol, and you. You take care, and we'll see you back on that mat, you guys. Make sure you thumb it up, like it, comment, all that great stuff. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. In tricky situations, I will be a lifeline.